everyone, my name is Mango and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these civilian vehicles right here behind me. And these are super easy to make, I use them all around my projects. We got a basic SUV here, it's a pretty nice design. We have a small little sedan type vehicle right here. And we have one of my favorite um, vehicle designs that I've made, this, uh, this pickup truck right here, which I use a lot. And there's a whole, whole bunch of different conversions for it that I use. Um, and I'll probably make a tutorial on that in the future. So uh, keep an eye out for that. So let's get right into making these vehicles, starting with the SUV. Okay, so starting with this um, SUV here, we are going to get our black concrete. We're going to put down two black concrete just like that. These are our two front wheels. And once we have those placed down, we'll get our polished deep sight, deep sight slabs. Put one straight in the middle, and then three across the front. This is our front bumper. And then we're going to grab our stone button and put those on the two black concrete. And then we're going to grab our deep slate again and go back by four, just like so. And we're going to do um, three rows of four, just like that. And then we're going to get our black concrete again, down another two. Those are our back wheels, put down the stone buttons. Polish deep slate slab in the middle. And then three across the back yet again. And then we're going to grab a hopper. We're actually going to break this um, back right slab. Grab any block, doesn't matter what block, this will be destroyed in just a second. Place it right there to the right and behind this wheel here. And then place down the hopper and just make sure the little notch there is going out to the right. And then we can break that place away. And then we're going to get our smooth quartz block, or any type of block that you want for this vehicle. So I have all these vehicles as just a white paint job, but you can make it red or blue or gray or um, green or whatever color you want. But I'm just going to do white. We're going to make, we're going to put down two quartz um, blocks right like on the front of the car, just like that. We're going to put one in between the wheels, and then we're going to fill in this um, 3x4 box, just like so, and then we're going to do the same back here. So everything is covered except for this front block and above the wheels. Then we're going to grab our smooth quartz stairs, and we're going to put these upside down above each wheel. Should have something that looks like that. And then we're going to get our blast furnace. And we're going to place that just at the front. This is going to be the grill of the engine. And then we're going to get our birch buttons. Put those on either side. Those are going to be the front headlights. And we're going to get our acacia buttons and put those on the side of the two front quartz blocks, just like that. And then we're going to grab our white carpet and put that on top of the blast furnace. And then behind the blast furnace, we're going to put down three, just like that. Then we're going to get our polished black stone stairs, place a row of three behind those carpets. And then we're going to get our, let's see, we're going to get our polished black stone. And place two just behind the stairs. And then place upside down blackstone stairs behind the um, row of three right here. And then we're going to get our dark oak trapdoor. And we're going to place those down and open them up. So they are against the stair here. And then... We're going to get our blackstone stairs again and just place them like this with another 
um, polished blackstone block behind those. And then we are going to make a row of three smooth quartz. And then we are going to get our polished blackstone stairs again. Place a row of three, just like so. And we're going to get our dark oak trap doors and place those on top. And then our white carpet, and we're just going to fill in this whole roof section. And then we're going to break this block here, and we're going to get our birch button and place that right there. And now we're going to get our polished blackstone button, place one right here under this um, stair, and then another right under this one. We'll go to the other side and do the same. And then we're going to get our um, mangrove buttons and a birch sign. We're going to place both mangrove buttons like that, just on the back of the car. And then the birch sign in the middle. And then we're going to go up to the front where the windshield is. We get a lever, with a skeleton skull. And a placeholder block. We're going to place our two placeholders just like that. We're going to pull out our wither skeleton skull and stand up here on the roof and place down these skulls just at a slight angle with the faces facing towards the car. And we'll do the same right here. And then we can break those placeholders and put a lever down. And same thing on this side. And that will be the um, the SUV. It's a very nice design. You can change out the colors any way you'd like. I recommend if you're making this black, you'd replace the blackstone um, for the windows and stuff with um, let's see, another brick. So just replace all that with another brick, just so it doesn't look like it's all matching. But um, for pretty much every other other color, I have it as the blackstone, just because it looks a little bit better. So let's get right into that um, next vehicle, which will be uh, this small sedan vehicle right here. And one thing I forgot to add onto the um, SUV is this warped button on the front of the grill. This is supposed to be a um, some form of Ford Explorer. Uh, no really. Not doesn't really have a specific model year, but the uh, Ford logo goes right on, on the front of the grill right here, and I just use a warp button for that. So uh, don't forget to add that if you want this to be a Ford. Okay, so ma making this um, sedan is much simpler than this vehicle here. It's much quicker to make. So we're going to put down our two front wheels again, and at the front we're going to put two smooth quartz just in front of the wheels like that. I'm going to put one in the middle, and then two back. We're just going to make a 2 by 3 right there. And then two back wheels, block in the middle, and then another, th and then another three um, behind the wheels. And then we're going to grab our stone buttons, put those on the wheels. And we're going to grab our blast furnace, put that in the middle. Carpet there, three carpet behind, and three polished blocks on stairs, just like that for the windshield. And then two upside down stairs like this, smooth quartz block in the middle, blackstone stair in between these two wheels, and then smooth quartz on either side of it. And then we're going to grab our wool again and do a row of three on top of the roof. And then one back here. And then we're going to bring out our birch buttons. Two just like so. Warp button in the middle. And we're going to get our 
Levers. And our Wither Skeleton Skull. And a placeholder block. It could be anything you want. I'm going to put down our two placeholders. Just like this, right behind the wheel. Same thing with this SUV. We're going to put the um, skulls down just like that. Levers below them. And then we're going to get our Blackstone button and put those right here. And we're going to get our mang Mangrove buttons and our Birch sign. Two Mangrove buttons just like that with the sign in the middle. And that'll make the sedan. Now let's get into the... Um, Let's get into the pickup truck. This is my favorite build. <laughs> it looks so good. Okay, so for the pickup truck, we're going to start like we did with all these vehicles. I'm going to put down our two front wheels, one block in between. And we're going to get our stone buttons, those on the outside. Polish deep state slab in the middle. Three deep state slabs across. And then. One, two, three, four deep slate slabs, and then the same across all these rows. Put down our two back wheels, deep slate in the middle, stone buttons on either side, and then just one deep slate slab back here on the left. And we're going to grab out our placeholder blocks. We're going to put one just like this behind the um, right wheel. We're going to put our hopper down, and the little notch should be sticking out to the right. And then we're going to get another placeholder block, put that on the middle um, row, one block back from, the, from this row of blocks here. And then we're going to get our hoppers again, and place one down just like that, so the notch is facing backwards. And now we're going to get our smooth quartz. Gonna place kind of a triangle of um, quartz just like that, and then we're going to place a three by two of smooth quartz just like so. Gonna go pull out our stairs, those above the wheel, and then we're gonna <clears throat> take out our stairs again, and we're gonna put down two just like that. And then facing in, I'm going to put two more stairs. And then we're going to skip this one. And we're going to put another two stairs. And then a stair here facing towards the front. And then we're going to grab our stairs again. And we're going to put them upside down over the wheel. Just like that. We're going to pull out our polished deep set slab again. Place two here, and then a deep slate stair there. And then we're going to grab our blackstone stairs on this row just behind the wheel. We're going to place three. And then we're going to grab our blast furnace, put that in the middle for our grill. And we're going to get our birch buttons, acacia button, and a warp button. I'm going to put the warp button in the middle, and arch buttons on either side, and acacia buttons just like so. And we're going to get our polished blacks on stairs again. We're going to put those behind the windshield upside down. And then we're going to get um, our polished blackstone block and put that right there in the middle. And we're going to grab our white carpet, three right here, just in front of the windshield, and then one on top of the blast furnace, and three on top of the um, window here. And now we're going to use a little bit of command magic and place down these um, iron trap doors. So let me just clear up my inventory here. So you can't place down... You can't open trapdoors. See, when I try clicking on it, it won't open. 
So we need to use commands, and this works on either version of Minecraft. You can use Bedrock or Java. We're going to open our um, command menu, forward slash set block. And then because it's going to be placed right where we're standing, we're just going to put down um, three tildes. And then iron underscore trap door. And then this is where it get this is where it gets tricky. We're gonna have to go through I think it's a number 10 to 14. And we're just gonna have to guess and see which um side the trapdoor will open on. I normally start with 12, and it looks like 12 is the right one. So and copy the command and put it right over here too. Just like that. You might need to go through um, numbers 10 till 14 in order to figure out which um, number it is for the trapdoor to be on the right side. They should just be like this up against the, um, the stair in front of it. And now we're going to grab our mangrove sign and our birch sign. Put, put the two signs back here, you don't have to write anything on them. And then birch sign in the middle. And then we're going to get our levers and our wither skeleton skulls. Do the same thing that we've done on these two vehicles. Um, placeholder down, wither skeleton skull facing the, um, the vehicle. Same on this side. Just like that, and then break the placeholder and a lever under it. And then we'll grab our blackstone button and place that right here under the um, blackstone stair. And let's see, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. I think that's going to wrap up this um, pickup truck and the rest of this tutorial. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with friends if they're looking for vehicles to make in their Minecraft world. Free for, feel free to join my Discord server. Um, it's pretty new, but we'll have some pretty cool things going on there pretty soon. You'll get um, announcements and alerts for when I go live or post a video. And you can also share your Minecraft builds there with other people. And um, even suggest things for me to make um, tutorials for. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.